I'm Anil Kumar and here we have two trigonometric identities involving reciprocal of primary trigonometric ratios. Well, I know some students are scared with trigonometric identities with sine and cosine, but this time we have taken cosecant, cotangent and secant, right? Let me tell you that it is not very difficult and you'll appreciate it with the help of these examples. So the first one here is 1 plus cos x divided by sin x equals to cosecant x plus cotangent x. Now in such cases you could start with the left side or from the right side. It doesn't really matter. Let me start with the left side in this case. Uh, why it doesn't matter? Because both are simple. That is why, okay? Don't be afraid of these reciprocal identities, okay? Now, 1 plus cos x divided by sin x could be written as 1 over sin x. Look here plus cos x divided by sin x. Perfect. Now, what is 1 over sin x? As you know, it is cosecant x. And what is cos x over sin x? Well, it is cot x. Perfect, right? And uh, that is what I think you need, right? So we get the right side. So even if you start from the right side, that means you're going in this direction, it takes no time to prove this identity. So it may look difficult, but it's not that difficult, okay? So I'm just trying to give you some confidence so that you can actually solve some challenging questions which are going to come soon. Okay, the next one now is secant x minus tan x sin x equals to 1 over secant x. Okay, so let's write these terms in terms of uh, sine and cosine. In this case, we should definitely start from left side. It is more complicated and you can simplify it. So secant is 1 over cos, okay, minus tan is sine over cos, sin x over cos x. We have sin x. Perfect. Now, in this case, we can take a common denominator of cos x. Okay. So we get 1 minus, and here we have sin square x. Now, what is 1 minus sin square x? 1 minus sin square x is cos square x. Perfect. So it is cos square x over cos x, which gives you just cos x. What do you need? 1 over secant x. And cos x could be written as 1 over secant x. So that is the right side. Correct. So that is how you can actually prove your identities very easily. Okay.